Hi everyone, I hope you've been having a great day. Let's get straight into it. What's in my bag of the week? And what is my bag this week? It's none other than the infamous Porsche Matisse. I want to show this color in the sunlight. This is turtle dove color. Let's get all the technicality out of the way. This is a Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. I wanted something in the Empreinte leather because it is so luxuriously soft. Oh, and it smells intoxicating. <laughs> it's all. Oh, mm. I just can't get over how good it smells. Oh my gosh. If there's only like a scratch here to, to smell for you. You know, if you are an LV lover, you would know what the new Empreinte leather smells like. Uh, it's so good. Anyways, sidetrack. So let's just do what's in my bag. I don't feel like I have a lot in this bag right now and it feels heavy just because it's leather. So be aware of that. So this is what inside looks like. So the, the back here, by the way, is where I would keep my phone, but I'm filming with it, so it's empty. But what it looks like, this is what I carry. I feel like with the already compartments given in this bag, it saves a lot of room, and it also saves me from using other little bags and pouches. So this is what I have in the front. Of course, I have my Victorine wallet and, you know, I was debating a lot about which wallet to buy and this seems like it fits the bill and what I need. This is a Korea version from the 2022 Holiday Animation Collection. And I love it. And I love this pink. I love this pink. It's like another Barbie pink. Oh. This is a David Yerman breast cancer bracelets in the pink versus this much brighter intensity pink of this wallet, which I love. I cannot say enough. Also in the front here is my Chanel lipstick. You've seen this many, many times. I lo just love pulling this out. It just looks so beautiful. It's just the number one in rouge beige. Just love how classy this looks. And the other is a lip gloss from Chanel in the color 722 Rouge Cocoa Gloss. That's what I have. Basic. And up here is just my reading glasses from Ray-Ban. And I'm able to stand up my glasses. It's, it fits perfectly standing up. And then I also have my AirPods. And then I have my, oh, this is my LVPM agenda. And because I have a little bit of a bigger, a medium sized bag, I can carry this as opposed to my Chanel. I definitely would don't carry this because it takes too much room. Oh, which reminds me, I should look if they have the 2024 version available yet. Anyways, I should have really take this to get a hot stamp. I love this. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of it. Um, and this is my Tiffany pen, which fits perfectly in this tiny, tiny little hole of a pen holder. I 
do like to carry my agenda, especially if you know you have appointments or you have to make an appointment at the dentist or at the doctor's office. I do like to carry that. So that is that. In the very last pocket here is my Chanel mirror in the color purple or um, lilac or immortal. But I like to carry this color specifically with this bag is because it stands out so well together. It looks nice and beautiful. And, and it has its own little compartment. And that is what I hold in this bag. It, like I said, it's quite heavy because it is leather. So be aware of that. Overall, I do love having this bag in my collection. It's just, you know, a different style, a different look. I can, I have like, you know, the you have the classic Chanel or you have the, the Speedy or you have your long shop. It's just something different. And this lock's just so beautiful. This lock just stands out so beautifully. This is such a beautiful bag. I don't know if I should go and get a canvas one just because, you know, it is lighter. As much as I love this one, it's heavy for me. And I do find sometimes it is bulky even carrying it on crossbody. But I'm willing to deal with it because I just love how the bag looks and the organizations and the car compartments. This bag, of course, comes with a cross body strap in the same color leather. And it has how many holes? And it has six holes for you to customize the length. And I'm already on the shortest length and it fits me perfectly cross body, but on shoulder wise, I need, I need to like shorten this even more because I'm a very short person. But it is somewhat adjustable for someone of my height, which is nothing. Or maybe I should just look for a new um, strap. Like this one I saw, so it's retail for 935 from LV. And this one you can actually, you know, adjust it as much as you want. There's no stopping point. And I wouldn't mind getting one of this um, coin purse as well. So this is a definitely contender I'm thinking about. So that is my bag of the week. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.